welcome back to our channel design on the dollar i'm your host ida and today we are going to do some a uh, black and silver um victorian style centerpiece and for this diy you're going to need this is a dollar tree um diy it's a collab with krista over at crafty kitties and um what you're going to need with this is lots of pieces of diamond wrap. So you're going to need diamond wrap. You're going to need five um, Dollar Tree candle holders. You're going to need two of the Dollar Tree um, fluted out at the top and kind of small at the bottom and fat in the middle um vases now if you don't want it to be a victorian style you can use any type of vase and this um will still work gonna need your e6000 some scissors hot glue sticks hot glue gun and um, some black satin flat paint. Um, I'll show you guys that in a little bit. And this is optional. The um, the floral diamond wrap that is always in my description box. A link for it. But this is optional. Um, you're going to need the five strand, the five strand diamond wrap from Dollar Tree need some florals and these um on and off switch uh little hemp light illuminators from the dollar tree as well so if you want to see how to do this project just continue to watch the first thing you're going to do is um you're going to glue two of your candlesticks together and then you're going to place one candle on top of the other making sure that the lines on the candles match and I'm saying these lines right here make sure that they line up together that gives you the more seamless star, store brought look. Okay. And at this point, you will sit this off the dry for a little bit. And we're going to go and head to glue this piece right here on. Now, this is a new item that I found at um, Dollar Tree. Um, it was in the floral section. I want to glue the um, candlestick holder to the bottom of the plastic container. And you're going to do the same thing with this. You're going to set it aside and let the glue dry a little bit. And so now I'm going to come back to this piece. The hurricane is going to sit on top of the candle sticks. Now, it's a good fit, but it's not a perfect fit. So, what I found to do was to put the E6000 around this, the rim of it, right at the base. like right at the base of the vase <laughs> that rhyme base at the base so then you're going to try to get a steady hand and sit it in here where it's level and that it's even on both sides Sometimes it's level, but not even, or not moving. And then what I want like to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge, the outer perimeter, 
right at the base where the candle and the vase meet and I'm going to seal it with E6000. I'm just going to sit this off to the side but I've already spray painted one and it has dried and so this is what it looks like spray painted and as you can see I put some of the optional um, floor bees on the on this one but we're going to sit this off to the side and I want to show you guys how to make the um the things that we're going the bling that we're going to put on the base so you want a four by four so you're going to cut four down and four across one two three so you will have a little um four by four block like this so you will have several four by four blocks like this and you'll have several five by five blocks like this so once you have your four by fours and your five by fives now if you're just going to make this like i said the um this wrap right here is optional so if you don't have this don't be alarmed don't be fret because it will look just as good without it so if you're going with this once you have your four by fours and your five by fives you will skip the next step that i'm getting ready to do because you will be ready to place yours on the the, the vase if you just have the um bling wrap but if you're going to do the optional um floor wrap you will cut these it comes in the, the strand like this and you will just cut a row off so you can cut a row off and then once you cut the row off you just cut individual pieces so you will have those so then you will take, um, I'll show you both the hot glue and the, um, and the E6000. So your fine center mass, well, that's my military coming out. I'm sorry, guys. you find the center, oops, and you will place your floor right on the center of your block. So that's that one. Then with the E6000, you'll do the same thing. And by the time you finish doing as many as you'll need, um, the first ones will be dry. So I've pre-made pre -made mines. I will say, get you a movie or whatever, and like I did, and just go to cutting. Um, so here's a five by five. This is what a five by five looks like. And this is what a four by four looks like. And like I said, if you don't have the um, the floor bling, you don't have to use it. Or you can put um, get the Mardi Gras beads from the Dollar Tree, and you can put a bead right in the middle if you want to have definition. So the first step is right down here at the bottom. You have this little um, space, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the four by fours. And I'm going to use the hot glue gun for right now. You're going to take the 4 by 4s and you're going to place a bead of glue right in the middle. You're going to take a 4 by 4 and you're going to put it in a diamond shape. Not a square, but a diamond shape, just like that. And you're going to Make sure it's a diamond shape. And then you're going to go all the way around with the 4 by 4s um, I started out painting the inside of the, the, the base, um, but the outside was still shiny and I didn't want a shiny look. I wanted the um, matte look for this. This um, project is going in my foyer it's going to be something that remains out year round other than um like holidays because my foyer has a black and um trying to go for a black white silver kind of theme in my foyer so this is what it's looking like so far and you just continue that pattern all the way around the base in that little area 
So I'm just picking one up, putting a dab of glue on it in the center. I'm turning it so that it's a diamond shape and I am placing it onto the boss like that. And then also, as you can see, like I said, that this part is optional is I took some of the individual ones and I put around the base of the um, candlestick and at the top part of the candlestick to tie the candlesticks into the base. And so then I am going to do the same thing to uh, the top of the vase. Just like that, all the way around. I know the question is going to be how many does it take to do a whole um, vase and it's really going to depend on how close you put them to how many you're going to need. Okay, So there it is so far and I think that is pure, pretty right by itself you know you don't have to go any further than right there but I am going to go further so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the five by fives and we're going to start another row and it's going to start right in the middle of the top row just like this and this time we're going to alternate um, four by fours and five by fives. So that's what the rest of the um, base will be the alternate between the four by fours and the five by fives. Same thing, I'm gonna finish the rest of it off camera, but right here, I'm gonna start a, a four by four on the next row. So I'll be back. Guys, I wanted to show you what, did I, what I decided to do. Um, and that's another thing that the hot glue is very forgiving when you put it on the pieces because it came off really nice and smooth. And sometimes in the middle of designing something, your design changes. Um, and you think it changes it for the better and I think this will and I decided to take around that small lip and instead of putting the 4x4s and the 5x5 five five squares I decided to put um, an 8 row of bling wrap so that would be 2 rows of the 4 and I think this brings so much more to the piece. And I wanted to show you the guy show you guys the paint that I used. It's the um Rustoleum Universal Paint and Prime in One and it's the flat back flat flat back flat black. So basically we're gonna do the same thing we did to our vase, we, but I'm going to flip the um, base upside down so I can work with it better. And I'm going to start out the same way. I'm going to start out at the bottom first and I'm going to put a, a, a row of the small ones, the 4x4s around the perimeter using the edge as a guide to keep them straight. I am going to flip it up and I'm going to start right here on this on this lip right here. I'm not going to go all the way up. 
because I might put a row of um, single bling wrap around there. And that's what it's turning out like. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish that row all the way around and then I'll be back. Add one row um, to this around here with the alternate in between the four by fours and the five by fives. So same process. And there's this piece so I am going to go ahead on this and do the floor arrangement so okay guys instead of um, putting float on um, flowers in the bowl I decided to do something outside of the box I decided to take the Dollar Tree styrofoam balls and use the bling wrap and I'm going to use um, some glitter and um, some of the, the blackened uh, silver ones and I'm going to fill it up with the balls. Now you can take and, and spray paint your styrofoam ball if you want to beforehand or paint it beforehand but I'm just putting this up here like this because I think it gives it a little bit more um depth to it with a little bit of the white showing so this is the first one that i did and i just took the leftover um four by fours and glued it all around on this one and then on this one i'm going to take the leftover five by fives and then i'm going to do one in this cup right here but when i finish with them all i will come back and let you guys see them but um i'll do a couple of on this all i'm doing is just taking one of the four by fours or five by fives and i'm putting some glue on the center again and i'm just finding a place and putting it on the um styrofoam ball like such and i'm just going to go all the way around with it until it is completely so I will do something like this all the way around till it's filled up and I will be back to show you guys when I finished and with the black and silver one I'm just pulling off the strands and I am placing them around the ball just alternating the colors on them just like that Okay guys, since I decided to put balls in the um, the round um, floor base, I decided to put flowers in the tall bases. And I'm gonna put berries in it. Um, Worcester, Worcesters, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, black roses and lilies. When I come back, I'll show you the finished product of the whole set together. And here you go, guys. Nice and beautiful. As you can see, I have the lights inside of what the balls. It's five balls. It's five balls inside of here. Um, two black and silver, and three um, silver, silver. And as you can see, I've added a strip of the bling wrap around the rim of the vase so it can match um, the rim around the tall vases right here. But this project was made using all Dollar Tree products. As I said, I, it was in a, I was in a collaboration 
and I'll leave the link to all of the other ladies that are in the collaboration with me and I want you to go and check their channels out and don't forget to rate comment subscribe like and share this video and until next time I'll talk to you real soon bye bye